eat them. That's right, I ate them. I ate the divorce papers, Charles, and they were good. Good. I ate them with ketchup. See, you probably want me to start getting serious about this divorce. Funny thing is, you always called our marriage a joke. So let's use logic here. If A, we can't have a serious marriage, then B, we can't have a serious divorce. I mean, wasn't it just last week that your dad asked you the reason that you walked me down the aisle and you said it was for the exercise? <laughs> That's really funny, Charles. <laughs> See, I'm laughing, I'm not crying. Because you're about to give up on someone who is infinitely lovable. For instance, Paul. Sure, he's a little creepy, but he really loves me. He has made 247 passes at me, written 200 original love sonnets, and proposed to me 47 times. He sees something in me, Charles, and he writes it down in metered verse. And that's not something that you find every day. You don't find someone who loves you for who you truly are. And sure, Paul may be insane, but I value his feelings for me. I would never sit there and force him to sign a piece of paper writing away his right to his feelings for me. But that's what you're asking me to do. You're asking me to sign away my right to those baby brown eyes. And the way you run your hands through my hair before bed. I don't wanna lose those things. In fact, I won't lose them. I won't lose you. I'll woo you. I've written you a sonnet. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. The rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. It's all a big joke. It's very funny, Charles. They keep waiting for you to say April Fools and then I'll run back into your arms because you're not gonna say that, are you? <laughs> no. Of course not. It's not April. I didn't really write that sonnet, you know? Paul did. I think it's really good. See, the truth is, Charles, I ate the divorce papers. I ate them because I can't stomach the thought of losing you.